Welcome back to Destination Playdate. I am your host, Attack Slug. This is Season 1, Week 9, Game 1, Spell Corked, about being a witch and running a potion shop. Through mail order, let's make some potions, shall we? So first and foremost, we have our crystal cube that runs on the cube OS, and that has our e-meow email, and Welp, aka Yelp, to get reviews of your potions. So we have orders. And number one here from Boots and Cats and Boots and Cats and Boots and Cats want some strong misery. Now this game is about finding out exactly what the potions do and the properties therein. Therefore, it is some trial and error to figure that out in the game. So, I do know that Strong Misery is part of the coffee potion. So heading over here into our ingredients, well first is the book. And the book shows you, okay, the coffee bean, happiness, misery, it's on the right there. And you learn that by doing it with your ancestral mortar and pestle always on the grind. Over here in the Moonbeam Concentrate, that is the amount of magic and the folks that help you there with the magic and what they do in terms of increasing or decreasing the level of magic in that. We also have some morale for your shrooms and the dewdrop berries. You can see I've discovered the water is the less amount of dewdrop berries and then the more, I haven't figured out what that is yet, perhaps it is love, I, I don't know. I don't know. And I just got this and I had not done it yet, so we do know that misery is coffee. So how does that work? Well, if you grind the coffee properly, it's not misery. If you just toss the beans into the water, that's misery. So, we have a new ingredient, but right now it is, hey, we just need these coffee beans. Back out, and then head over into, uh oh, my uh, familiars here having some, having some things going on. So... They're trying to make a potion. What's going on on this side? Ah, nothing. We definitely weren't trying to make a potion. Definitely not. So yes, making sure your tools are clean and ready. Is that so? Yeah, we'll leave you to it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, getting out the crank. Because we're going to need the crank on this mortar and pestle. So, opening this, let's make some magic. We toss the beans into the pestle. And normally, you want to crush and grind. I can spin the crank here with this, and I can use it down on the D-pad to kind of crunch and do this. But to maximize your misery, I'm going to go one bar here, right? So I'm not actually going to grind these into anything because you want that misery. And I can hit finish to finish. And that means I'm just tossing them into this cauldron and now I mix it up. Now mixing it requires you to spin at certain speeds. The lines, you will see, as they, get, as they get closer to the center, you spin faster, or crank faster. As they are around the edges, you crank slower. And obviously it tells you what direction to crank in. I'm not sure how much that actually impacts the end result. Also, it uses the gyro to pour. And obviously I'm gonna have that in the video here turned so it looks proper, but we pour. I don't think you can over pour or, or under pour. And there it is. Misery. Strong misery. So we'll do that. We'll sign it, put my name on it there, and then tilt back to put it back in the box and ship it off. And that is our who won that order for the strong misery. I got your one. Boots and cats. Here you go. Order shipped. Game saved. Now, otherwise in our orders, we had what? So back into my e-meow and say, all right, strong water. Now I also know that if I do the berries and I don't grind them, that's going to be strong water. So I think that is the case. I'm pretty sure I've done at least one of those. So let's actually back out here and double check on my reviews from having done that before. So head back into my whelp and I have a new review and it is, hey, what can I say? No worries. So that was a medium water I did last time. They wanted a weak love and I gave them a medium water. So I'm going to try not grinding any of these berries and that might be a weak 
Water was the one. So, oh no, I'm sorry, strong water, strong water. So, hmm, perhaps grinding just enough to hit the middle of that might be how things are supposed to be approached. Again, a lot of trial and error in how things go and learning what each individual thing does. Now, there is other things besides this mortar and pestle. We'll get to those here in a moment, but crush and grind with this. So we're gonna get to the middle and say three bars is strong water. I'm, I may have gone too far there. I may have gone too far. So we're gonna finish the step and we're gonna hope for the best there. But yes, you wanna finish in the bar, not go over the bar. Let's mix it up. Again, slow and then faster as the bars get closer to the center of the cauldron. You can see how it goes and you go slower and then change directions slower. So staying in the bars to finish the potion, the motion in the potion, if you will. And then again, we tilt the play date to pour, which just kind of seems cosmetic because I don't think it actually changes like less or more. And then we see what we get here. Oh, I got, so that's the thing. I went too far and I made a love potion. I didn't want to do that. So lesson learned, you go too far and you get a love potion and that's no good because they wanted strong water, not weak love. So here we go. Order number nine, that's not gonna be a good review on whelp, but what can you do? Now, our final potion of the day that was required was a strong sleep and weak caution. And I think caution was the mushrooms and I don't know what sleep is. Also, we have some other things that we've got here in our email, in our email. We're gonna try strong sleep, weak caution. I'm probably gonna screw it up, but hey, that's part of the learning experience. But now that I look closer at this screen, I can see next to the fist, it does kind of say courage, and next to the question mark, it does kind of say caution. So morale shroom is caution. We want weak caution, but we don't want love or water. We want whatever this is, and look at that. It says sleep, right? The margins here. Reading in the margins next to the things actually say what they actually do. Noticing that is now helping me tremendously. One bar shroom, three bar leaf. Let's do that. Now, the mushrooms are interesting. because You start with your crank facing this way, and then you kind of move it and then you chop, and then you chop, and then you, well, let's just do that right there, right? So that's one bar. Finish the step, yes. And then we need three bars of this to chop this. So again, we point this at the start, and you move it a little bit, and then a little bit, and then a little bit. That's two bars. Let's get me to three bars, finish. That should be hopefully the picture perfect potion for what I need to do. So slow stirring, and then a little faster. And again, does that actually impact the potion properties? I don't know, but it seems like it wouldn't. I don't know, man, look. Again, this is day one, and I played for half an hour so far, so these things happen. So that should be the proper properties if the game didn't crash on me. You know, you know, I did the right thing here. I made it all the way. Thankfully, it saves in between potions, but play date, you know, indie games, brand new things might have bugs here and there, and that one crashed. Let's try it again, and hopefully it won't crash this time. If we are lucky, there we go. Okay, caution was strong, sleep was weak. So I hope, wait, no, that's the opposite of what I wanted. Well, look, these things happen. These things happen, so pack it up. Was it strong sleep and weak caution? I've already forgotten. So keep these things in mind and memorizing them before you actually get into your thing. So once you finish the day, then you head to the window, you end your work day, and get some well-deserved Z's to clock, and then the day begins anew with witches, 
and a frog poster. So the trend of indie games to have witches and frogs is well represented here in Spellcourt. So let's check on our emails and our reviews and call things. Well, I have 39 eggs and 10 reviews. Boots and Cats wanted strong misery and I delivered that misery. So I did screw up the strong water Weak Love, I got two from Baked Taters, and Strong Sleep, Weak Caution, Strong Caution, Weak Sleep. I screwed up what I was doing there with that, so I still got four eggs, and it says, well done, from Aries, so I'll take, I'll take that. And so that is your basic gameplay loop here in Spell Cork. You can turn off the music and the sound, you can have your save data get reset, you can watch the credits of the developer and that is kind of how things go and looking forward to playing more of it and making more potions in my potion shop. I am your host of Tax Lug. Keep on cranking. Tune in right here for more videos on the playdate. I'll see you next time and I'm out.